There are a lot of reasons why a trader might not execute their plan properly and not wanting to be wrong is a big one. But virtually all traders in existence understand that it's impossible to take winners 100% of the time and avoid all losses. All data on your charge is historical and you're only able to assess what has happened already. As smart as you are, you can never really know who is sitting ready to act and so a big trade or an unexpected event can change everyone's perspective of what a fair price currently is, regardless of what has traded before. Then there's the fact that the market can make you wrong for a tick whether or not the concept for a specific trade was valid or not. And until you've closed the trade, you cannot be certain that it will achieve your profit target. So if we know we'll be wrong at various points in our trading, then what's the reason why we often see traders having a hard time in letting go of unsuccessful trades? Surely by knowing that we are all but certain to take losing trades on any given day, it should be easy to just click the mouse and exit the trade, right? Wrong. And I believe it's not really to do with being wrong at all, but all about the way in which a trader loses that leads to many of the problems that they face. We have a deeply ingrained aversion to being made to feel or look like a fool. It is certainly observable in many walks of life. People often revel in denigrating those who have said or done something silly or naive. And many a comedy moment is centered around this type of thing. Think of Homer Simpson. At mainstream schools, much of the learning is focused on being right or wrong as opposed to reasoning. And that's part of the problem, I think, with producing genuinely capable people at the end of education, rather than just people who have learned to pass exams. So it is with trading that not being made to feel like a fool, not having your money taken from you in a silly way, and proving to yourself that you really do know what you're doing, can become an anchor around a trader's neck. Now this taps into some pretty strong instincts, ones which, when we're already in a heightened state of emotion, can be extremely difficult to negate. The compounding effect of multiple experiences can lock you into negative behavior patterns until you're really able to recognize what's going on. Now here's just a sample of situations if you're still not sure what I'm going on about here. Getting stopped out to the tick again. You don't want to be the sucker at the table who keeps getting their stop taken out right before the market moves to target. Another observation is where a trader just keeps moving their stop until they are so committed to the trade that they refuse to take the loss at all. You take a loss because you missed an important piece of information that's normally part of your decision making process because either you weren't paying attention or you did not prepare properly. You want to avert this feeling of inadequacy and acting in a stupid way and so only take high probability setups. In reality, ones which you feel will definitely be winners. So when they lose, you either refuse to accept the loss or feel betrayed by the market. The market keeps acting in a certain way that it, it doesn't usually do. And you're taking loser after loser because of this. You don't want to feel like a fool when you stop trading and it reverts to its usual self. So rather than just take stock and refocus, you just keep trading and taking losers. Either this, or you start trading off your plan, which can be disastrous. You start to feel like you know what's going to happen while you're in a trade, so you mess with your plan on the fly. You take an impulse trade that ends up losing, and you know you should have followed your plan instead. Rather than trading your plan, you try to make up for it by taking further impulse trades while digging yourself into a deeper and deeper hole. Now, getting back to the title of this piece, Never Be Wrong Again, Let's explain what that means. Trading is as much to do with changing your mindset and therefore behavior as it is to do with strategies, money management, and everything else. Perhaps more so as everything else is dependent on how well you grasp these concepts. Being right is not about taking winners and you can do some real damage when you profit with poor logic. It's about being able to assess a situation what is more likely to happen next and apply a strategy properly and consistently where appropriate. If your reasoning is sound and you take your trade, you've done the right thing in spite of the outcome of this trade. You've identified your edge and you've given it the opportunity to play out in the market. But if being right is about taking a trade and not the outcome, then surely you can still be wrong. Of course. The point is that if you view it this way, your focus is on trading properly. 
You can never be wrong about the outcome because you know it's uncertain. So in order to give yourself the best possible chance of assessing an opportunity correctly and executing your strategy consistently, there are a few simple, no, but uncertain, there's no concrete right or wrong, steps that you can take. You need a clear and simple enough plan of how you will trade and under what circumstances, leaving the level of discretion to a minimum. By monitoring market conditions, for example, as simple as whether the market is trending or consolidating, you can understand when this strategy is likely to work better and therefore what you should be looking for leading up to a trade. If you have a strategy that has a genuine edge in the market, the most important step to success is being able to execute it effectively and eliminate trading errors. These errors often stem from the strong emotions that come with being made to feel silly and can be averted by changing your mindset on what being right or wrong is all about. Change yours and you can never really be wrong again.